So I thought this might be of interest to some people who own the Overnight Sensation speakers, uh, especially if you find that um, you're not quite satisfied with the clarity of sound in the mid-range. Uh, I thought they were great until I got something else and it showed me all the flaws that the Overnight Sensations have um, with the Hi-Vi 4-inch woofer there. I found uh, certain frequencies, certain instruments, certain sounds, especially uh, rock music, metal, uh, heavy guitars, um, just got a lot of ear fatigue. Um, I'm sensitive to certain frequencies and uh, I think a lot of other people out there are too. Um, I would find it very shouty and uh, maybe even have a resonance or a ring to it that um, just made me want to turn the music off and also a lack of clarity I found the the uh, compared to other speakers with better clarity it, it by comparison it sounds like uh, someone singing through a tin can um, more muted certain instruments like um, uh, flute if with a clearer speaker you can hear you know a little more breathiness on the flutes uh, guitars you can you uh, they sound muted with with the high vi driver and uh, on a clearer speaker you can hear you know each finger pluck of the string that kind of thing that just a, a level of detail and clarity is missing I find from the overnight sensation stock as it is so just by chance I, I happen to order this mica RB, oh, MB 42C center channel, and I didn't really like it as a center channel too much. Um, it just didn't work well for my application. Um, but I noticed the driver looked like an exact fit in my overnight sensations, and I had been using my overnight sensations as my mains for the longest time, but I, I, I sent them off to be surround speakers instead um, because I was unhappy with the performance. So I thought I'd give it a try. And I popped one of the drivers from the Mica into my overnight sensation and did some sound testing in comparison. I rigged up a <laughs> really janky uh, AB switch there, but it works. And um, I doubt my phone's microphone will be able to tell that you'll be able to pick out the difference. But I've got a I've got a copyright free uh, acoustic guitar, which makes a, a good example. And if you can't hear it in the video, I can promise you there is much more clarity and detail with the mica driver. Um, a lot of vocals, you know, uh, sound like they're they're singing through a tin can uh, with the high vi driver and uh, there's just much more clarity uh, with the mica especially when it comes to male vocals i find um well and female too somewhat but but um yeah the only downside is um the high vi four inch does 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 do quite well with with uh, the mid bass uh, we do lose a tiny tiny little bit and i emphasize just a tiny bit it's not bad uh, but in some tracks, I did notice a bit of a, a bit of a, a less pronounced uh, a mid bass. But most of us are pairing this speaker with a subwoofer, anyways. If you're using it as your mains, um, it's really not a big deal. For the trade-off and the clarity that you get, that's well worth it. The um, the Mica MB42C center channel I got for super cheap uh, on an Amazon quote unquote renewed it's just a scratch and dent sale price basically so the uh there's a bit of a dent on the on the back of the cabinet otherwise it's a perfectly brand new speaker and uh i'm just gonna gut it and grab the two drivers off of it anyways because it works out to 25 dollars canadian per per driver that's that's a cheap upgrade for the overnight sensations there um so i'm gonna put a gasket on there and swap them both over and and Put, put them back on my mains for a while and see what uh, what I think. But here's a little sound comparison if you uh, if you want to have a listen. I don't like I said I'm just using a crappy uh, mic that's built into my phone here, so I, I don't expect stellar results. But it is mid range, so maybe you'll be able to tell. 
anyways, here we go. Um, I'll switch to um, one back and forth every few seconds or so. So that's the mica. and uh, certain instruments you really the the difference is extremely pronounced um, listening to the band uh, Omnia uh, with all their natural instruments and vocals was very very noticeable difference especially with their their songs that include a lot of flute um, there's just a detail and a clarity uh, in the mid-range that uh, it's night and day to me as far as I can tell um, I'm going to be pairing this with a subwoofer anyway, so I don't really care about a tiny little bit of bass loss. No big deal. So I hope that helps people out. Um, it's a perfect fit. It works well. There is just a sliver of a gap more on the edge compared to the the high vibe, but you can fill that in with you know some black urethane or wood filler or whatever. Um, it, it's really not that noticeable not bad at all um, maybe even just paint the inside wood black just just to darken it up and, and that would probably be sufficient anyways so yeah have fun with that <laughs>